How's it going everybody? Welcome or welcome back to Nazo Gaming. Today we are going to be doing our brand new PC build. It is so exciting for me. I am doing a voiceover here because the audio recorded like crap, but let's get into it and I'll show you what parts we're going to be using. First up, we got the new PNY GeForce RTX 4090 series. We also have the Kraken X73 RGB for our all-in-one cooler. We have a bunch of Lee and Lee Unifan SL120s. I'm probably not going to use them all, but we're going to get into it anyway and use them as much as we can. We're going to be using the Height Y60 black and white case. We're also going to be using the Intel Core i9-13900K for our CPU. The G-Skill Trident Z5 DDR5 6000 megahertz. We also have for our storage the SK Hynix 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe. For our power supply, we have the MSI Mag A1000G fully modular power supply. And for our motherboard, we have the MSI Mag Z790 Tomahawk Wi Fi. Let's get into this build and get it going.
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that little montage there. That is the new PC build. So if you have been wondering where I've been for the past couple of weeks, um, I've been working on this. Um, so I can bring you guys better content, um, faster, better, stronger than ever. Um, that's, that's what I built it for. Uh, my old PC was running a GTX 1070 and an uh, i7 6800K. So it's, it was quite dated. Um, I was definitely due for an upgrade. So I decided to go all out with this one. That way I can get you guys the highest quality content that I could possibly bring you. So this is gonna be the new rig for all the gaming, all the streaming, um, all the recordings and all the editing. So I hope you guys enjoy all the new content coming out. I got a lot of stuff planned for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, stick around for this video as well because we do run some benchmarks. I did not do any overclocking. The only overclocking, if you want to call it overclocking, is the RAM because um, out of the box it runs like DDR5 RAM and it doesn't run at the 6000 megahertz that it's advertised. So we had to make sure to um, enable the XMP profile in the BIOS. So that is the only thing running above standard spec if you want to call it that the um cpu is running at the regular speed everything no, no, no overclock and the uh graphics card is also running stock in these tests um if you guys do want to see some overclocking tests i will be sure to do that for you i can do it um not sure that i necessarily even need to with how overkill this rig is um but i think if you're interested in it i could definitely make it happen um, so yeah, if you guys want that, be sure to leave a comment down below and I can get that happening for us for sure. But enjoy these um, couple of benchmarks. I only did a few. Uh, the first one that we're going to run is Unigen, which I believe is pretty old and outdated because um, this thing ran it at like 500 frames per second consistently. So the ones after that, I did the new 3D marks like the Fire Strike and well, I guess Fire Strike's older too. But there's new ones in 3D Mark, so check those out and you can see my numbers there. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe so you see all the new content I come out with and leave a comment down below on what you want to see me playing on this rig.